If you 3D print for very long, at some point, you're probably going to need an enclosure. To print some of the trickier materials, you're going to need a finer ambient temperature adjustment while printing. And if you're printing in a basement like I am, you know this can be a real challenge. The easiest fix is to build an enclosure. The problem with enclosures is if they're made permanent, it can be really tough to fix your printer or even load filament. Also build material. You can go with a plastic like plexiglass so you can monitor your print easily, but it's expensive, delicate, and hard to work with. Or you can go with a cardboard box or a wood crate, but then you're left with a bulky enclosure that you can't monitor easily. This is my attempt to get around some of these issues. This is the absolutely cheapest solution I can come up with for a 3D printing enclosure from scratch. It takes about 20 feet of PVC pipe, some 3D printed parts, some plastic sheet, and some Velcro. You can build it for around $20. This one was built to fit the Prusa Mark II, but it can be custom made to fit pretty much anything. This enclosure is 22 by 22 by 20 inches high on the outside. It does fit the printer, but the spool holder rubs on top. It still works. I have linked the Thingiverse page with the files to build this in the description below. To build this size, I cut all the pieces of PVC 20 and 1 quarter inches long, except for the bottom piece on the back. It's 17 and 5 eighths to allow for the longer printed parts. Print six of the standard corner pieces and one left back corner and one right back corner. The back corner pieces have gaps to allow your cords to run to the outside. Cut all of the PVC as flush as you can so they fit snug into the 3D printed parts. I prefer to use a ratcheting type cutter. They should just slide right into the corners. I'm using a plastic table protector to cover the cube. To fit this cube, you'll need to cut the plastic to around 89 inches in length and 23 inches high. This allows for some overlap. I like to stick down the Velcro to the end of the sheet, then attach it to the PVC. This way you can roll up the PVC to adjust the length. Use another piece of Velcro on the other end of the sheet to stick it down on the same seam after you get it wrapped around the cube. After that is done, fold the sheet around the top of the cube and Velcro a 23 by 23 inch piece of sheet around the top to seal it up. Try to get it as tight as you can. For bonus points, add some weather stripping on the bottom to seal it up even tighter. You might look at setting the printer in the cube on a foam sheet to give some added insulation from the base. I have been able to get the temperature in the cube up to 35C when printing ABS. This is running the printer at 100C bed temp and 255C hot end. While this enclosure does help ABS 3D prints greatly, it's not going to solve every issue. For larger ABS prints, you're really going to need a heated enclosure. I'm currently working on a mod for this setup to take the ultra cheap enclosure one step further. Please stay tuned for that one. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing to my channel. If not, leave your comments below and thanks for watching.